Uh, I don't know about this one, bro. everybody how are y'all doing all right before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up thumbs up all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items for this video the first one i don't know how i feel but i know how i feel about it but sabi nintendo's leaker he's been right in the past on some of his leaks and so he is saying on Twitter and he says and I quote this is not a verified leak take it with a grain of salt and this is what he says I've heard from a third place that Dante is being heavily rumored now for smash not gonna completely back this up until I hear from a main source but wanted to make it so wanted to make it so these rumors are known and so according to him he's reporting that Sa um dante i'm about to say his name again didn't make any sense dante from uh, the devil may cry series is rumored to be a dlc fighter for smash i ain't feeling him bro now and of course i'm biased because i'm not a fan of the devil may cry series you would think because i i like bayonetta 2 didn't really like bayonetta the first bayonetta i like bayonetta 2 you think that i would like um um the devil may cry series because devil may cry 5 when i played it on my xbox one it had a bayonetta feel to it but <coughs> i wasn't feeling it i wasn't feeling it never been a fan of the series anyway but I still think there are a lot of characters that I would place in front of Dante, bro. Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Gino, Super Mario All-Stars. Um, Laura Croft from Tomb Raider. There's a lot of iconic, and those are all iconic video game characters. Maybe Dante's iconic, and I just, I'm, I've been sleeping on the series. But I'm here to report the news, and the news is, the word on the street is... He is coming to Smash. Feel like it's going to be another Bayonetta, Joker type fighter. I'm just saying, bro. That's what he looks like when I think about Dante. All right. All right. Next news item. Speaking of Assassin's Creed and Ezio. Um, Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection. We now have a Switch launch date. The game now will be arriving on the Switch December 6th of December is starting to slowly fill out. Uh, we just got Alien Isolation announced for December 5th. Now December 6th, we have the Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection, which includes um, Black, Fra Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, and it'll include the DLC for both games. I played... Um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag on the Wii U. That Wii U boy, and the game was dope. I, I never. My least favorite parts of Assassin's Creed has been the ship sailing, and Black Flag probably had the most um, pirate ship sailing. But other than that, it was dope. So December 6th, if you're a fan of the Assassin's Creed games, you get another one on the Switch. And I have to say, December. December is going to be a light month, in my opinion, for the Switch, and it needs to be. We got a lot of games that just came out. Nintendo's hitting us with back to back to back releases. Luigi's Mansion 3. Wait, Link's Awakening. Luigi's Mansion 3, then. And Pokemon Sword and Shield. Bam, bam, bam. Back, back, back. Um, I think December is going to be light. January might be like in the past. January has been Wii U port month. <laughs> We've gotten. Um, the new Super Mario game, I think one January, I think another early um, year release was one year, the Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze um, um, Wii U port. And so, I think we're probably going to get Super Mario 3D World or another big 
Wii U game um, probably in January. But this game is dope, man. Don't sleep on this game, and it will be coming to the Switch in a matter of two weeks. All right. Next news item. If you are looking to get a Nintendo Switch Lite, we might want to hop on this deal. The Nintendo Switch Lite is going to be offered for a Black Friday deal for $175 um, through Google Shopping. And so, check out Google Shopping. You have to use a promo code. Um, the promo code is 19 Cyburns. Um, just look it up. Um, $175 Nintendo Switch Lite on Google Shopping, which is $25 off of the retail price, which is surprising too. <coughs> but I don't think this is an official Nintendo price drop because Nintendo don't drop the prices of their consoles. Uh, Google is having this deal. The Switch Lite dope, dope, dope system. The only reason why I wouldn't pick up a Switch Lite over my current Switch, I got the version 2 Switch 1. The battery life. The battery life on this version 2 Switch is insane, bro. And you can't dock it. Um, most of my Switch gaming, now I say 70%. Before it used to be 90% of my Switch gaming was in docked. Now about 7 I, I do play my Switch more in handheld mode. So um, it, you can't dock the Switch Lite, so it's a no-go for me. But if you're looking to buy one for a spouse, a kid, a bir uh, Christmas gift, 25 bucks off, bro. Get you a couple eShop games for that $25 save. All right. Genesis does. Next news item. You can't do this on Nintendo. Genesis does. Genesis does. Gen. All right. Sega Mini. Speaking of Black Friday deals, the Sega Genesis Mini will be having a pretty significant price cut for the holidays. I almost, almost want to hop on this, bro. I had my Super Nintendo, but I also was a Sega kid. I played both systems equally. I was on my Sega Genesis just as much as my Super Nintendo. Sega Genesis was Sega's best home console ever. I know there's a lot of Dreamcast dudes, but <coughs> Sega Genesis beats out the Dreamcast. You can't convince me otherwise. But it's a pr there's a price drop right now on Amazon. You can get a Sega Genesis Mini for 50 bucks, which is dope, um, as opposed to the original $80 um, price point. My only thing with the Sega Genesis Mini right now, Sega has so many classic collections. Even on the Switch, most of these games on the Sega Genesis Classic uh, Mini, um, there's you could buy on the eShop right now a classic collection, which has dope, um, some of the best Sega Genesis games, that Streets of Rage, um, Ultra Beast was dope, it was controversial, but they had all the old school Sonic games. So, uh, if you're a collector, this would be more for a collector in my opinion. And Genesis was dope though, Genesis was dope. And the final news item for this video is, not a real good one for the Switch. If you've been anticipating the game, not a lot of people were anticipating this game in the first place. But, the free to play Elder Scrolls Blades game has been delayed on the switch <coughs> originally i believe it was supposed to come out in december but it's been pushed back to 2020 and i think a reason why um there's been complaints about the chess and the, um, um loot items in the game i think that they're fine-tuning that system it is a free-to-play game so you are gonna probably be microtransaction to death in this game this game was never really on my radar but if it was too bad for you all right before I head out, of course, I'm giving away a free copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield to a lucky subscriber. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You also you have to do two things: subscribe to this YouTube channel and be following me on Twitter. You do those two things, you're in the running. Also, if you want to jo join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, game with your boy every night. Get on my Switch friend list prizes, tournaments, fun stuff. You get invited to our private gaming discord. Become a sponsor, patreon.com backslash ob one plays or through Twitch or through YouTube um, membership. That's it for this video, bro. Sound off. In oh, and if you guys notice, I've had allergies acting up, so I'm a little congested for this video, but we did it anyway, bro. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things new.